Hello everybody and welcome back to another lock picking video. Yeah, and in today's video we're going to have a look on this American lock. It's the model 1205. And yeah, it is very similar to the famous 1100, I guess. Um, it is a little bit hidden here with its camouflage. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just as it came, you can get these... Uh, Hardly here in Germany, so I was very happy that I could find it new in box. Um, what does it say on the box? Yeah, hardened steel shackle, ball locking mechanism, five pin tumbler me mechanism for high resistance to picking. Yeah, nice. Okay, yeah, we will see about that. And yeah, it is a five pin lock. Here's the bidding. And Works just fine, and we will be able to cut it even later. So let's put it in a vise and hopefully, you can pick it. Okay, here we are back in the vise. Key works just fine, and yeah, let's get a tensioner in. I'm using this SP47 1.3 millimeters on the pin side, and then I'm using my favorite profile in 0.6 millimeters. The PN07 and not really from like the the middle of the keyway but from this edge here and this works quite nice as a fulcrum and yeah let's try to get to the very back of the lock and just touched five and we are already in a full set so now try to drag it on four and bit of counter rotation and I think I got it. That was three, two, counter rotation on one, and we're open. Okay, nice. So let's have a look inside. I will fast forward. Okay, welcome back from fast forward. Um, yeah, I s hope you saw one thing uh, during the fast forward, and this is how little the pins shoot out when you take them out and you just see the head. So the springs are a bit underdimensioned, I think, maybe, but maybe it's just how it must be. I don't know. I'm not a lock manufacturer, I just see. That the drivers could spring up a bit more. Um, here's the core. It has actually holds for six pins. We only have five pins in there. But what is nice to see is that this plate was installed in the back. And this is purely there to prevent a bypass um, where you can take a tool. I don't have one, but it's almost like this. And you can reach through the keyway and just manipulate the um, attenuator here inside the lock and just push it manually basically. And to prevent this bypass method they came up with these uh, little aluminium plates but of course people then came up with a punch method just punches through these plates but yeah it's nice to see this installed very good and yeah let's have a look on the pins so 
I already suspected that. We have a serrated driver in chamber 5, which we touch in the beginning and then we are in a fourth set with the four spools in chambers 1, 2, 3, 4 and they are very nicely serrated. I mean, you look at that top of one of these spools. Can you see the serration there? You can really feel that through picking, so that is nice to see. So, overall, maybe not the most secure lock, but it's a very fun lock to pick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's all from me for today. I hope you liked this video and yeah, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. Bye!